What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Today we have some pretty awesome stuff. Now uh, when I was at work today and I checked my phone, um, we had some pretty crazy stuff going on Twitter regarding no one actually related to One Piece Treasure Cruise directly. This, this specific tweet that we're about to have a look at came from an individual who apparently, apparently is the voice actor for Gekko Moria in the Japanese dub of One Piece. Now, the fact that it's Gekko Moria is very interesting because when you scroll down and see this image, um, yes, that is definitely Treasure Cruise style artwork of none other than Gekko Moria. Now, I have to say this off the bat. This is honestly one of my favorite artworks in the game. Now, like, I never thought that I would say that about a Gekko Moria unit, but this artwork is incredible. I love this artwork so much. The lighting and the detail are immaculate. I mean, look, I just made a video talking about V2 Mihawk and his super evolution. Just comparing that to what we see here. It's night and day. You can see it's definitely two different teams or one or one or two different people that work on the artworks. And like, this is one of the best artworks in the game. It has to be, right? It is so good. The lighting and the detail looks amazing. But anyways, um, this pretty much confirms we are getting a Legend Moria sometime in the near future. Now, as for when that's going to be, we don't know. Um, the fact that this artwork is already completely established leads me to believe this is going to be coming like sooner rather than later um before like quite a few like uh, quite a few months ago like i'm talking about um on japan when it, when smoker and sugar were coming out before their initial release they actually posted the line artwork of the actual character they showed like um you know the base outline of the unit and they showed what the character was going to look like it had no color it was just the line work and the and the and the like uh, applying the cell shading so you could definitely tell what they were going for for the artwork and then it didn't take that much longer after that for them to actually be released in the game. So the fact that this artwork is already established, completed, and it's and it's right here leads me to believe this is likely the next Sugo Fest exclusive coming to the game, or I don't know, it, it, maybe it's going to be further on down the line. Maybe it's going to be in a few months' time. But just know that Legend Moria is coming sometime in 2021, which I am so excited for because we don't have a Legend Moria in the game yet, man. I mean, look, there's only well, technically, there's two characters that I really badly want to see get a Sugo Fest exclusive. For those of you who are longtime fans of the channel, you guys know exactly who one of them would be. One of them being Kuma. You know, we're nearly at the seven-year anniversary of JP, One Piece Treasure Cruise, and we still don't have a Sugo Fest exclusive Kuma. I don't understand how, I don't understand why, but it needs to happen. If we get a Kuma this year, I am just, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be over the moon, and I really want him to be good, by the way. I hope this Gekko Mori is really good as well. We'll talk about what he could potentially be uh, in a little bit. But the other character that I really, really want to see in the game as a Sugo Fest exclusive is CP0 Luchi. You know, every single Luchi legend that we've received has been from Any's Lobby CP9. We haven't gotten a CP0 version of Luchi yet as a legend, so I want to see that sometime in the future as well. Really hopeful that we can get that ha to happen. Um, but anyways, let's go back to Moria. I digress. Let's let's get back to Gecko Moria. I love the artwork, and I'm pretty sure that someone translated this, and it, and it means like after evolution. So this is like the six star artwork, which is which makes sense. So let's go through um, a big shout out, obviously, to the One Piece Treasure Crew subreddit um, for no the subreddit Discord for putting this all together of course so it says a tweet from moria's voice actor um seems to contain artwork of mori unit for optc the text above the artworks is after evolution plus the art background and smoke sparks is similar to that of optc units i mean there's no there's no doubt that this is one piece treasure cruise artwork even like the background as well the back it's, it's the same background that you know every unit is slapped on it's the same this is treasure cruise artwork whether you like it or not um contents of the tweeted message don't refer to optc at all that's true. If you do translate his message, it doesn't relate to Treasure Cruise at all. But obviously, the fact that they've brought in the voice actor for the character means that they're recording some lines for the character, um, which makes sense. So that's awesome. So if they're recording lines, it means that this Mori is probably going to be a voiced character, which would mean it would probably be a legend. I would be surprised. I would be absolutely floored and shocked 
if this is not a legend if at this point i mean it, it, it still technically could be it still technically could be like a limited time character or something but it definitely looks like a legend to me the original tweet has been deleted and this this is the other thing as well is the fact that this tweet was actually taken down if you actually go over to this link real quick yeah, yeah it says it doesn't exist they actually took it down so yeah i think i think the the, the voice actor was told hey uh, you shouldn't be posting that yet because we haven't revealed it yet so yeah either it's going to be coming very very soon or maybe they're literally just getting this prep for later on down the line we'll have to wait and see um and of course there's just another picture of the artwork again which looks so good um and that's pretty much it right now that's all we know right now now regarding legend moria what could we see for moria now there are a couple things that i wanted to bring up real quick the fact that the moria artwork is based off of this so can i just go back and forth yep so the the artwork of this moria is based off of when he was shown in the episode not not too long ago where he arrived on blackbeard's island looking for absalom um so this is obviously you know post time skip gecko moria it's the same outfit you can see he's wearing he's wearing the red tie and the cape red tie there's the cape he's, he's got the whole kit and caboodle even the background you can see like the island in the background which is, makes a lot of sense so yeah that's awesome right but does this mean that he's going to come alongside someone else maybe we'll get like another blackbeard potentially i think that would be kind of weird to get like another post time skip blackbeard it would be a little strange but i mean i'd be down for it i just i don't expect gecko moria to arrive by himself Unless if they're releasing him for a treasure map Sugo Fest or a limited time, you know, one of those really restricted units like, you know, Sanji and Pudding or only on Kizuna Clash banners. Maybe this could be the same thing for Moria. Um, I'm not really too sure because most of the time when they release a new batch, nowadays they're releasing multiple Sugo Fest exclusives in one batch. So I don't know who would come alongside him. I think Blackbeard makes sense. Um, maybe another Mihawk, maybe. I don't think that would really make a lot of sense either though. I don't know, man. It's a little bit hard to predict. I'm not really too sure where they're going with this, but I'm excited either way. And one thing I also, I also wanted to talk about real quick is just Gecko Mori in general in One Piece Treasure Cruise. There are, it's a, there's actually not many good Moris in Treasure Cruise when you really think about it, right? Like, you got the old school Gecko Moria, this one right here. He's pretty bad, but he has a pretty decent support effect, you know, a conditional boost, which is nice, against reduced defense. So what if he's a defense down conditional booster would be pretty cool. And then maybe uh, has, like, an ability to bypass defensive effects and reduce the defense would be pretty interesting. Um, this Gecko Moria is a story mode unit. is pretty bad. Uh, Colosseum Moria has some uses. This uh, Strength Moria is an attack booster for three separate colors which is interesting um the limited rare recruit moria on release was very good because he released alongside version one katakuri um obviously the unit worked very well under katakuri and uh if the, it says that uh, yeah you get the chain lock and reduce increased damage taken and then if the enemy is delayed when you launch the special you get a million fixed damage to all enemies so obviously you use them with katakuri delay them then you get the fixed damage um then you've got the neo one you've got the kizuna one which i think is actually not too bad you know it does some orb manipulation and uh does or boost for strength xi uh this recent one that came out with the smoker and sugar stuff was actually pretty good too um so that's pretty cool and then you got this random support unit which uh, came out on japan recently actually now that i think about it was was gecko moria one of those units you could choose on the smoker and sugar pole i'm pretty sure he was right hmm that's interesting isn't it hmm i wonder if we're gonna get any more of those in the future you know because like uh, on that legend pole we had like ivankov bonnie uh reiju and then it was like kuma caesar and moria wasn't it i think it was so like those particular units don't have legends yet well at least some of them don't oh well, actually yeah, they all don't yeah all of those characters i just mentioned do not have legends in the game yet so maybe they're going back to that pole and bringing some of them back even though they really should have brought kuma because kuma had a higher pole on that pole compared to moria but anyways another thing i wanted to talk about really quick is what i think the typing of the character will be now one thing i want to bring your attention to is the thriller bark ship now this does not confirm anything because obviously we've had you know the big mama shanta ship which is a strength x quick ship and then they release v2 big mom which is an int character right this has no correlation but this could potentially mean something because there isn't a legend moria in the game yet and if they're gonna bring him into the game i think it would make sense if he worked with the thriller bark ship kind of like how the nl ship works with nl because you know nl was a quick unit and the nl ship boosts quick and side characters and a lot of nls in the game are quick and side units and i think like a lot of the moris in the game are like int characters right um I mean, there's a lot of them, right? <laughs> I mean, there's a decent amount. A lot of them, because there's not, there's not many more characters in the game, but a lot of them are int, so it makes sense. And then for decks, there's the Colosseum one. Um, but as for the other colors, like, there's not... There's no Psy version of Gecko Moria. There's a few strength ones, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I wouldn't be surprised 
if Gekko Mori is a Dex super type character. That's my assumption and my guess that Mori is going to be a Dex super type character, and I think Dex kind of need it as well. Um, Int, I think, are way too powerful still. They probably don't need the support, though if they do bring him into the game as an Int, as an int super type, I, I wouldn't be that upset about it, but um, I think Dex definitely deserve it a lot more. I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and, uh, you know, they've been going and releasing a lot of the quick and Dex units recently with Kaido, Zoro, and all the free-to-play stuff regarding them. Uh, I also, I'd also take it if it was a quick unit too. I'd take it if it was a quick unit, dex unit, either one of those two needed the most. Int wouldn't be that excited for, but still, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with more. I don't know exactly what they could possibly do. Um, as I mentioned, potentially being a super type unit that has a super type effect that can reduce enemy defense through immunity would be awesome. And then having a conditional boosting special, that would be super freaking cool if they could do something like that. Um, but yeah, there's so many different routes they could do, they could go down for, for, Ge for Gecko Moria. And I don't really know what they're going to do yet. But of course, if we get any information regarding Gecko Moria, stay tuned to the channel. I'll bring you guys a video on it because I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do for the first Legend Moria in the game. So uh, thank you so much for watching the video today, me breaking down this information. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.